After pleading guilty, Martin van Merwe was sentenced to life imprisonment for his part in the murder of Michael van Eck. <laughs> But for Van Eck's family, it wasn't enough. Judge Ian van der Merwe considered testimony from four psychiatrists and a police forensic psychologist to decide on his sentence. The relationship between van der Merwe and his fiancée, Shanae van Yerden, was once again highlighted. He more had the fantasy of killing, more the fantasy with death itself, whereas she more had the fantasy of skinning and... Um, uh, that kind of thing. So there's a slight difference, but they needed each other to commit the murders. But unlike Van Heerden, who was classified a dangerous criminal and sentenced to an indefinite prison term, there is still some hope of reform for Van der Merwe. The difference between the two sentences uh, is due to the fact that uh, Shanae Van Heerden is a psychopath. She was classified as such. She is a serial killer and she will in most uh, most probably she will kill again. Van der Merwe was also sentenced to 10 years for the dismemberment of an ex body and 5 years for robbery. The sentences will run concurrently. Van der Merwe will have to serve at least 25 years before he can hope to see his fiance again. Even then, the reunion will be totally dependent on whether Van Yerden is considered eligible for release after serving the first 20 years of her indefinite sentence. Al Kutsir, Virginia.